10 basic skills that every player should know in table tennis. Today we talk about the top 10 most important skills in table tennis. That every serious player should know these techniques. What are they? As usual, my videos have subtitles. I recommend you to activate the subtitle on my YouTube channel. Why learning basic skills are so important? You are new to table tennis or just want to come back and learn from the beginning the correct table tennis technique. Table tennis technique has changed a lot. However, people still using the old design courts, which is not adapted to the new trends in table tennis. So today, I will show you the new, the redesigned table tennis lessons for the beginner to learn the modern table tennis strokes. These are the top 10 table tennis basics that every beginner should know. How long does it take to master all the basic skills? Some coaches have proposed the accelerated table tennis course to learn the fundamentals of table tennis in a very short time. However, to master the correct techniques, a player should do the repetition several times, so the proper mechanism needs the muscle memory. That is why in a short amount of time, only 10 days or 10 months, you cannot master correctly the basic skills. So focus on the basic skill during your first 2 years of training. So in general, remember, in your first two years of your career, you should master these basic techniques. So trust me, learning basic skills is crucial to your table tennis. It is like a foundation. Without this solid foundation, you cannot improve further. Even the top player, they have solid fundamental skills. Let's see how they perform. The two best table tennis players right now, Ma Long and Fan Chen Tong. Based on Chinese coaching, there are 10 fundamental skills in table tennis. Number 1. Forehand drive technique The first fundamental table tennis skills that you should learn is the feeling of the ball. Driving skills help you quickly get this feeling. Unlike many basic table tennis lessons who propose you to learn the grip and the stand first. But you can start learning the forehand right first. This is the correct grip for the forehand right demonstrated by Malon. 
Pay attention to the position of the thumb. Very important. It helps you feel the ball through the blade vibration. During these training drills, the coach and yourself can quickly modify the grip based on the feeling and the timing. I myself found this approach can help new players improve much faster. Furthermore, the player tend to change the grip for each type of stroke. By fixing a new player to learn a not flexible grip, it is not good for further improvement later. But in short, there are some key notes if you want to do the forehand drive technique correctly. Number one, remember to put your elbow close to your body. Some amateur puts the elbow too far. This will reduce the consistency of the shots. And number two, it is the forehand drive technique, not the forehand topspin technique. So focus on the feeling, not the power, not the spin. Focus on the feeling. Why Chinese coaches confirm that the forehand drive is the first skill to learn? Because it is very important. At this step, you can learn the right timing in pie with the body movement and also the stance. If you have a good forehand drive, then you can easily learn the correct forehand top spin. They share the same stroke mechanism. Number two, backhand toss pin close to the table. Backhand toss pin is the basic skills that every player should master. The biggest mistake of the beginner is, I learn the forehand first, and then I will learn the backhand technique later, in the intermediate stage. I have time. This is totally wrong. No, no, and no. You should learn the backhand stroke mechanism as soon as possible. Why? Because by learning backhand technique, you will understand how to use your wrist in table tennis. You also learn how to relax the right timing of acceleration and the correct grip. So don't wait. Learn the correct backhand topspin right now. It is very, very important. Please remember, a bad habit is very difficult to correct. Learn the table tennis basic slowly but correctly. And also, Chinese coach has changed the vision of this stroke. In this modern table tennis era, the bigger ball is used. Bigger ball means that you have more fraction of a second before doing the stroke. So your backhand topspin should be a deadly weapon. Even the forehand dominant player can profit by having a powerful backhand attack. Let's see how Ma Long trained for the powerful backhand attack.
For the backhand toss being close to the table, I have two tips. Number one, remember to focus on the speed of these shots. Number two, to increase the speed, the player should hit sooner and faster. Number three, forehand push and backhand push. After having a good foundation of feeling the ball and having a relaxed grip, you will start to learn the timing. Timing is when you hit the ball, the best exercise is to practice the forehand push and the backhand push. This is the basic stroke, and this stroke is not often used in the modern table tennis nowadays. However, Chinese coach still confirm that this stroke is very important. Why? Because they say that don't give an easy push, but give an aggressive push. So you should learn to develop your push to be more aggressive. So what are aggressive push? Based on Chinese coaching, the more aggressive push means number one, heavy and long ball to the middle, elbow of the opponent. Number two, surprise push with high quality, speed and spin. And number three, fast push to the forehand sides of the opponent, which catch them off. You can attack the next ball. Number four, forehand flick. The flick or flip technique is previously considered as the advanced skills in table tennis. However, in this modern table tennis era, the Chinese coach has moved this skill to the fundamental skills. Why? Because if you cannot aggressively return the ball, you will quickly be dominated in this modern age of table tennis. Look at this placement in the modern table tennis. Nowadays, the top players serve more and more to the forehand side. This is a common tactic. That is why forehand flick to deal with the short service at the forehand side is very important today. Aggressiveness is the key.
Number 5. Backhand Flick The backhand flick nowadays considered as a standard technique. Using backhand flick to return all of the top spin and side spin short serve. Backhand push is rarely used in the real match today. Back in the history of table tennis, the backhand flick is invented by European players. At that moment, many coaches said that this technique is not standard. Should we learn it? But then the table tennis technique have evolved. This technique today is considered as a standard technique in table tennis that every player should learn. To learn this technique, you should know how to use and relax your wrist. Without using the wrist, you cannot have a fast and spinny flick. Do you know that there are two types of backhand flick? This is banana flick, normal backhand flick. And this is strawberry flick or reverse backhand flick or boomerang flick. Number 6. Backhand loop the underspin ball This technique seems to be the hardest one for the beginners. However, it is not as hard as you think. The key to do the backhand loop is using the elbow and the lower part of your body. If you only use the arm to lift the ball, you will fail to top spin the heavy underspin ball. Focus on the use of the lower part, the legs to lift up and hit forward. Chinese table tennis focuses a lot on the use of the lower part of your body. When you master all of the basic skills, you should quickly incorporate your body, the hip, the waist, the legs, the abdomen into your stroke. So backhand loop, the underspin ball is designed to learn this concept quickly.
Number seven, forehand attack the semi long ball. Table tennis tactics turn around the service and service return. Best players use the semi long ball a lot nowadays. So why semi long ball? What are they? What are the advantage of semi long service? Here are the reasons. Because short balls are weak, not risky. And the long ball is easily attacked. And it is harder to attack a semi long serve. It will let you to attack right after your serve. That is the reason why Chinese coach has introduced the forehand attack, the semi long ball, into the basic training. That is why you need to learn how to deal with the semi long serve effectively. And to deal with the semi long serve, you have two options. First, step around and use your backhand flick, as many professional players do. Do it if you have a good footwork. And second, learn to return with the aggressive forehand flick or flip technique. Number 8. Learn Forehand Fast Serve Forehand Fast Serve is an indispensable tool to survive in this modern table tennis. Unlike several training courts that didn't focus enough on the quality of a long and fast serve, we should incorporate the fast serve efficiently in the new trending counter-attack playing style. Nowadays, many top players use forehand fast serve. Back in history, the master of this type of serve is Wagner, the Mozart of table tennis. And today, table tennis came back to the speed and power era. Fast serve gives so many advantage. First, big surprise to the opponent. Second, put the opponent under pressure to return it correctly or to be attacked in the next ball. 3. Reduce the quality of the service return of the opponents. 
Less time means more concentration is needed to answer it correctly. Number four, and the most important reason is open immediately the rallies and the counter rallies, which is the main dream of the modern table tennis. And number five, you have a higher chance to attack first and get the advantage in the next rally. Number 9, Forehand Pendulum Serve Forehand Pendulum Serve is one of the best serve in table tennis. Easy to learn but difficult to master. Learning this service will let you add many spin variations. You should learn this serve as soon as possible and learn to add side spin and improve the deceptive spin to this serve. Number 10, Backhand Side Spin Serve. And finally, the last fundamental skills is the backhand side spin serve. Nowadays, you will rarely see a backhand serve in table tennis. It is the less important skill, but sometimes it can change the outcome of the match. So I recommend you to have a good backhand serve. You will find this skill useful in some cases. For example, watch how Ma Long came back after losing 0-2 to Li Sang Su. Chia的下下學。好的。哦。哎呦。這個白短又低,底箱就 after down 0-2, Ma Long has changed completely the service. Now he only used the backhand serve.
续争胜。好的。好的，这样十比七，四局比赛。好的，所以我。他的技术功底，他的高招，搏杀球尽量少少让。马龙 used the backhand serve, which has completely changed the result of the match. Backhand side spin serve gives you the control of the placement and reduces the pace of the game. 比的是综合能力，比的是技巧。队现在比赛进入到了第四场，在前三并不下风，马龙反手发，好的，中也是成绩排在第一最好的选手。这样，马龙十一比四拿下第四局。这样，哎呀，拉住反手。今天晚上为您直播这场比赛，啊，又是一个偷袭，攻击这个球使球发长。Having several type of service always help you to deal with a critical situation. So to become a better player, you should have several effective serves. 原因呢，可能有很两极分化，啊，两极分化就是要么特别轻，要么特别重，这样马龙。He are the top ten most important skills in modern table tennis. So now it is up to you to practice more and master the basic level of table tennis. This is a very long video, and making coaching video require a lot of time and effort. If you love my tutorial, you can support me. Bye, Patreon. Merci et à très bientôt.